Hey everybody, my name is Mike Peralta. If you're here from the music video that I just posted, the little cover song of Fools, then thanks for coming, thanks for clicking a link. <laughs> but that's actually really hard to get people to do on the internet, so thank you. If you're here by random, you might want to actually listen to my cover song first. I'll put a link to that in my description of this video. So um, this is me talking after I recorded the song live. It's a live acoustic cover. That's why I have this guitar. So, the microphone's on. I'm not really playing, though. Probably sounds a lot worse than it did in the other one, because I, like, you know, mix it really good. And this vlog is just normal. But anyway, so, um, yeah, I just did Troy Sivan's Fools, and, um, man, that was such a cool song. I love doing it. I always say this, but it's true. I mean, you know, I don't do songs that are not cool and awesome, because if I didn't like them, I probably wouldn't do them. Except for One Direction. I kind of like their songs, but I don't think I need to do them anymore because it seems like I don't get traffic. Maybe because the people who like listen to One Direction are not looking for old dudes playing guitar. I'm not really sure what the problem is. I thought the demographic was like more wide, but I think I was wrong. <laughs> anyway, so um, I had a dream the other night, and it kind of almost relates to this song a little bit. I mean, it's like, a, you know, this song's like a, a love heartbreak type thing. Y you know when you dream... You're in a reality that's not really the same as normal reality, right? There's like all these weird rules and things that have happened in your dream that you kind of accept as being normal, but they're not. That like, you know, like you, you're dreaming, you know, and then you're like eating lunch like on your roof or something, and you just think that's normal. Like, oh, there's a table on my roof, I just eat it, and that's what I do every day. Then you wake up and you're like, that was stupid, right? But you accept it when you're in the dream. So um, sometimes I have these double dreams and I had them before Inception came out. So I had these before it was cool. Where it's like, I'm I'm dreaming, and then I wake up from the dream, and I think I'm totally awake, but actually I'm still dreaming because I was inside of a dream inside of a dream. It's happened to me forever. And those dreams kind of get me a little bit more than normal dreams. Like they jack me up, they, they screw with my brain and my emotions and stuff. So I had a dream in a dream, so I'm like at level two here, <laughs> that there was this girl, I used to work at Disneyland as a parade entertainer, and um, I was in a stage show once, and then, no, I was in two stage shows. Anyway, long story. So there's a girl I used to know that I did kind of like um, at the time, a little bit, but not like a lot, you know? And she dated other people. We never really connected. We never really hung out as friends. It was like, whatever, big deal, you know? So like a little bit, oh, you know, oh, you know. But then that's it, you know? I actually dated other people, you know what I mean? So in the dream, it was weird. I had like no desire to be with her, but she was just so in love with me. And she was making all these grand gestures and like showing up and bringing me lunch, like at lunchtime. Oh, I thought we'd like have lunch together. I made you something. So you can come like sit on this grassy hill with me. And um, you know, oh, I got your favorite video game. We can play it together. And like, uh, oh, I saw you in the show, you know, cause it was like her day off. She showed up, saw you in the show and you were great. And I, I, you know, like demonstrating over and over again, that you care, you know what I mean? When you pay attention to someone and you just kind of talk to them about things that you know make them happy or important to them or whatever. She just kept doing that over and over again. And it was weird because it was happening and then we went to this like scene where I guess in the dream I thought that was the last time I ever saw her, which it wasn't because there was no such situation. <laughs> She was like on a bus driving away to like another city to become an entertainer somewhere else because in my line of work back then a lot of my friends left and just like I have a friend right now it's seriously like 15, year, 15 years later and he just got done touring Singapore with some dance group and then he was working for some kind of like an MTV group and then he was doing some other like Universal Studios show or something like you know the people that I know do actually go off so it's like not super unrealistic. Um, so she left on the bus and then I like, this is taking way too long. Oh my God. It's like already three minutes, four minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. I'll sum it up. She was like, <laughs> leaving on the bus and I was like, wait, wait, no. And it was like a grand, you know, gesture, like at the end of a movie when you proclaim your love, you know what? I'm so sorry. I wasn't there for you. I'm so sorry. Like I didn't return your feelings. I don't know what I was thinking. I never looked at you before. You know, all the movie stuff. And I was like, I just want you to know that I love you and I'm going to be with you and I'm and make you happy. And I was like crying. And then all of a sudden, like she was really happy and like looking at my face. like, oh. All of a sudden she disappeared and I woke up from level two dream and I was talking to a wall. 
And like in real life, I sleepwalk sometimes. So it's usually I sleepwalk and I kind of get angry at things. You know, when there's like monsters in your dreams and you wake up and you're all scared. When I wake up from monsters, I'm angry and I'm like trying to run around the house to get them. I'm stupid. Because obviously, what am I going to do against a monster? That's the dumbest thing ever. So I was like, I, I assumed it was normal because I was looking at the wall. And I'm like, oh no, I sleptwalked again. And I was dreaming of the last time I saw her. And so then I'm at level one dream, right? And in level one dream, the reality was that she just drove off in the bus. And I never told her how I felt. And then it was like decades later. And I was just like so sad and alone. And like, you, you know, the one that got away type thing. Like, oh, I've ruined my life because I'm not with her. And I was so sad. So sad. You know, like no other girl could compare to her. Uh, she'll, th th there will never be anyone who's better than her. So sad. And then I was so sad in the dream level one that I woke up to real life. And that's where it fucked with me because, uh, screwed with me because when I get to level two, I like can't get back to regular reality sometimes. So I woke up and I was super upset because I thought level one dream was true. I thought she had actually been the one that got away and I was super sad about it. And it seriously took me at least like five or 10 minutes sitting in my room, like sulking, like, you know, all sad before I realized, wait, wait, she never even liked me. She never said any of those things to me. I never liked her. We, you know, it was just like a little bit and then it was like nothing. And, and there was no bus. She never even moved away. She just like stayed in this city. And she it was so dumb. You guys, I like got all depressed and sad over nothing. Something that didn't even happen. Something that I didn't even feel. And it screwed with me the rest of the day. I was walking around like, oh. And um, I'm not going to tell the story right now, but the other time that happened to me that I can remember, remember off the top of my head <laughs> was when I fell in love with Padme from the new Star Wars movies. Or not, I guess they're not new anymore, they're old now, but the the 1, 2, and 3, right? Yeah, because 4, 5, and 6 were the actual originals, then 1, 2, 3, yeah. So like in 1, 2, and 3, I was fighting Anakin. I guess I was, I was not Obi-Wan, but I was like trying to kill Anakin and he was trying to kill me and I was like trying to save Padme and I was like in love with her and I woke up like in love with Padme, not even Natalie Portman. I was just awake like, my Padme. And I knew it was dumb. I knew it was wrong. I wasn't crazy. I was just like, I couldn't shake the feeling. It was crazy. It wasn't crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. It's like that show, Jessica Jones. Have you watched it? It's on Netflix right now. It's so awesome. There's a mind controller guy and he can put thoughts into people's heads and like they know it's wrong but they can't help but doing it like that's what I, what happens to me when I wake up from one of those dreams I like I know it's dumb but I just can't shake the feeling it's crazy so yeah Jessica Jones um it's actually a fun show I love it and um I already binged through it so now I'm sad because it's over <laughs> anyway so uh I'm not sure if I should continue the vlog for very much longer I'm sure eight minutes is probably pretty good it's at, like around eight minutes right now so uh you know, I'm just kind of learning stuff and playing stuff on guitar. Um, what can I tell you about this car? It, dr it doesn't drive. It's the only car that doesn't drive. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I think I'm losing the ability to talk. I don't know if you can tell. I'm kind of slurring. If you go back in my other videos, I, was a I slurred a little bit, but it was mostly like for fun, for effect. And now I'm slurring more and more and more normally just in everyday conversation and I think I realize what's happening is I'm working on music or wasting time on Facebook or writing programs and I'm not actually talking to humans and then when I do talk it's to my dog and I'm like hey how are you doing what you doing man what you doing dude and I'm like petting him I love you Freddy it would be better if I just brought him in but I don't want to use him as a prop right now because he's all comfortable in the hallway my little doggy so yeah, um, I'm starting to talk like I don't know how to talk re recently, and it's getting to me. I think I need to start doing that stuff again, you know, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, here's my impression of Sean Connery doing a tongue twister. She shall, she shall, by the she shall. Oh, shit. No? Yes? No? <laughs> So I'm trying to, I gotta like work on talking. <laughs> I gotta learn how to f speak to people, to humans. Texting is so easy. Typing is so easy. Yeah, and then also if I put on the, the fake cool guy voice, hey yeah dude, it's like, life is but a dream, sweetheart. 
then uh, it gives me more time to enunciate and think about what I'm actually saying because half the time I can't talk correctly because I'm trying to say two words at the same time because I'm like, should I say that word or that word? So I just say them both. It's so dumb. All right, this vlog is way too long. I hope this works out, this format, splitting up the vlog from the actual uh, music. If you guys, if you guys get here without seeing my, my cover song music video first, please let me know. It'd be interesting to see if anybody actually does that. So yeah, um, my name is Mike Peralta. Please click over to the cover song video link and you can listen to my version of Fools by Troy Sivan. And um, oh, oh, one last thing. I was trying to figure out how to pronounce his name. I'm not sure if I have it yet. If you go to Google search right now and type in like how to pronounce Troy Sivan or something and then click on one of the top results, that's a YouTube video. <laughs> it's got like a it's like a green background or something. It is the most ridiculous troll uh, pronunciation YouTube channel that I've ever seen in my life. I've never even actually seen somebody troiling. She shall, she shall, but she shall. I've never actually seen anybody trolling pronunciations. It's out of control. It's awesome. It's crazy. Um, but they were like or something and they were saying it wrong on purpose and with like this funny accent and then they do that to, so so search for it you guys Maybe, you know what I'll put a link I'll put a link to the channel it's so hilarious you click on normal words and they pronounce it just totally wrong on purpose it's awesome but also maybe it's sad because what if somebody's trying to learn English and then they just think that's the way you know because that happened to me with programming terms I taught myself how to program so I ended up like making up the pronunciations of certain terms by myself. And then when I started working actual programming jobs with real people, I was pronouncing everything incorrectly and they were like, <laughs> it was awesome and sad. <laughs> okay, so I'm Mike Peralta. Thanks for watching my rambling vlog. I hope it was slightly entertaining. A couple people said that they felt it made me seem like we know each other more or something so i hope that's cool for you guys i hope you're not like well now that i know him i'm gonna unsubscribe from all this video <laughs> anyway okay so i'm gonna go now mike peralta thank you for watching please watch all my videos and share them and uh, click on all the links in the description so you can get itunes links and stuff and um yeah have a great rest of your day and evening and afternoon and brunch and second lunch and second dinner and second breakfast. Don't forget second breakfast. I'll see you guys later. My name is Mike Peralta.